Hey guys, how you doing? Another one today will be Spider Cut Dragonfly. The original one with the FRN, you know, fiber reinforced nylon handle, fully serrated, VG10 steel, nice stuff. Spider Co. made in Seki City, Japan. Really, really sharp serrations. I'm not a fan of serrations, but this blade is really sharp. Nice full flat ground, beautiful leaf shape, shape. Very good, you know, for my small hands, this can be really good user for EDC. My only complaint is that little uh, the pocket clip, the way it's done. You know, I love how they came out with the new one with the number two, Dragonfly two. With the, the wire clip, I think that's really neat, and they also added some jimping on top. Uh, I don't think the jimping on this small blade is is an issue. You know, I really don't care. I can get really good grip on grip on it, even without the uh, additional jimping. With the thanks for that nice big thumb ram. One thing, but I notice, I keep noticing on more and more reviews. I see a lot of people have a little micro up and down play. With the with their dragonflies, some some even say that it's just generally lug bag design knives. None of my lug bags have this problem. Uh, very little micro play. Really minor stuff. Not a deal breaker. One thing, uh, I don't use this knife too much. It's more of a collector piece. But the sp the back spring, the spring for the back lug, is really tough. I can re I have to really try. You know. To flick this knife open. I don't know if it will work out after a while but it, it is really really tight for you know for how light the blade is so we have to really you know it is secure that's one thing one good thing but I like I would like it to be a little little weaker so you can work it better. I love the overall shape it's just such a pretty knife it has a 2 and a 5 16 of an inch long blade. You know, this one is fully serrated. They come also in the plain version. VG10, good steel. You know, I think it's a little overrated. I actually like those cheaper steels. You know, I'm very happy even with the HCR 13 MOV and stuff like that. But of course, VG10 is really good steel. Uh, good, good rust resistance and, you know, sharpness, edge holding. It's a good steel. Closed length is uh, 3 inches and 732s. Weight supposed to be 1.2 ounces. I don't know, I have a little zip tie there and a little piece of linear. But let's double check it. My actually, even with the zip tie and with the little piece of paracord, is 1.15. So it's actually lighter than they say it is. Like I said, uh, I really like it. It has that vul Vulcano grip design for the handle. Not much, not much traction, but for the small knife of this size, is more than enough. So, really liking this one. I wish I could afford or maybe trade sometimes for the for the Dragonfly number two, the second second series, because that one is really sweet. I love the pocket clip on the new one, so I would really love to get my hands on the new one. Uh, good knife overall. They are a little pricey, I think, for what they are. I mean, I know you're paying, you know, we're paying for the price, for the brand and for the quality. But if you look, just for example, you look on uh, Ladybug, you can get this guy for about $25. And it's also Spyderco VG10, same design, same type of lock, just a little smaller, but this knife is half of the price. Ladybug is half of the Dragonfly in the price, you know, and uh, I don't think Dragonfly, Dragonfly is twice the knife, so you know, just just a little little comparison. Twenty five bucks, MSRP of this is actually seventy dollars. You can find it for about forty forty five dollars. So you know, it's pretty expensive for how small it is, but it is really good knife. I really like it. Uh, hope it helps somebody. You know, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care. Stay safe out there, and don't cut yourself.